Now, your 13 first alert weather forecast. Welcome back. It's 10 minutes after 6, and some of those showers that we saw yesterday, of course, had some of those very heavy rates of rainfall. Now, we did get a couple breaks mixed in from time to time, but also south of I-90, some of those storms did turn on the strong to severe side with a tornado warning that was actually confirmed rotation on the radar that, again, led to a tornado warning down towards Vernon County and Crawford County last night. But as far as the rainfall totals, most of us got anywhere from about one to three inches. This is a look at some of the viewer reports, except for the Eau Claire. That was the official National Weather Service uh, report of about two and two tenths of an inch. Other places, Hatfield got two inches, Chatech 2.1 inches of rain as well. So quite a bit of rain uh, with some of those heavy downpours. Now, those showers have moved out. High pressure is building into the area, which has already cleared most of us out. Further towards the south, still looking at a little bit of cloud cover this morning, but that will move its way on out and give way to plenty of sunshine as well. Humidity also going to remain in, che in check for today, being that we'll have dew points mostly in the 50s, and even a few dew points that'll be in the 40s. Now, we'll stay dry for a good portion of the work week, but we will have a few sparse chances at some showers from time to time, most notably Wednesday night into Thursday morning as our temperatures hang out below average. Here's a look at our Nicolay Bank sky cam over Hastings Way. Again, we've had the clear sky overhead, but this is pointing southward. Can still see some of those clouds that are hanging around a little further towards the south, but that will continue to fizzle out and give a lot of us plenty of sunshine for today as temperatures climb through the low to mid 60s by about the mid-morning hours. As we're starting off a lot cooler this morning when compared to the last few mornings, of course, 54 degrees right now in Eau Claire. Most of us in the 50s, but further towards the north, mostly north of Highway 8. We have a few spots that are starting off in the 40s as well, so a little bit chilly up that way. As our winds have been relaxing over the last couple of hours, especially north of I-94, where there's quite a few locations reporting calm winds, but further towards the south, and especially just a bit out of the viewing area further towards the southeast, still a little bit of a breeze with some locations down that way, anywhere from about 10 to 20 miles per hour. Here's a look at the satellite and radar again as high pressure builds in. Those clouds have moved out for us, but showers continue to push further towards uh, the mainland of Michigan and the rest of us have dried out. Looking at Skycast, just picking up on a little bit of patchy fog that's been developing near the Highway 8 corridor. But again, we'll get more sunshine for today. We'll keep that through the afternoon. Couple passing clouds from time to time, staying mainly clear for tonight. But as those winds become nearly calm through the overnight, and we've had the, or we have that mainly clear sky, though, that gives us the favorable conditions for the development of some of those areas of fog again. Now for tomorrow afternoon, some clouds roll in after some early sunshine. A couple chances at some showers late tomorrow night into Thursday morning, but by Thursday afternoon, another front moves through and gives us a mainly clear sky later in the day on Thursday. A couple more clouds then roll in on Friday as well. For today, mostly in the mid to upper 70s, mostly sunny, rather pleasant, before falling to the low 50s as some of those areas of fog develop tonight, again with that nearly calm wind. We stay in the upper 70s, potentially hitting the 80 degree mark in the Cooley region for tomorrow, but again, staying mostly dry with some intervals of clouds and sun along the way, Wednesday night into Thursday, bringing us a chance at some showers, a very stray chance at a shower on Friday, but notice those overnight lows below average, mostly in the low to mid 50s, and daytime highs also below average, mostly in the mid to upper 70s. We take that into the start of next week, but it does look like we warm up a little bit beyond the forecast period. We'll just, of course, watch out for that over the next couple of days. Now for a Sunshine Award, Katie Schultz would like to nominate Nicole Markward and says the physical therapy sessions that I received from Nicole gave me hope for a prosperous future of living without pain. She always goes the extra mile to find solutions, and thank you for making such a huge difference in my life. Now if you'd like to nominate someone, send us an email or head over to our website at weau.com.